What's up guys, Jason Messi here and welcome to a brand new video. Today we're going to have said potential transfers and we've got 9 players to cover in this episode guys. So as always, if you smash 2,000 likes that would be greatly appreciated. In the comments below, let me your thoughts on today's rumours and what rumours I should in the next episode. Add you to my channel, class subscribe button for daily FIFA content. And also in the description box below, there'll actually be a link to my previous video from today where I covered every single bit of information EA covered at Gamescom. So if you missed the news conference and want to keep up to date, go check that out down below. So start today, we have got Fabio Cohen Trow. Now he's definitely considered as being out of favour and today, according to Sky Sports, Italia, he's actually on his way to Roma. And apparently, Roma have contacted Real Madrid over a possible loan move for the fullback. And there, the Serie A side also want a temporary deal for now, but with an option to buy. That seems to be quite a common theme now, actually integrating into transfers in real life. If a player goes on loan, they tend to have a buyer out like option at the end. So, I mean, it's kind of like a trial period, you could say. And if they like him, they just buy him. But like I mentioned, though, Coventry is definitely out of favour and he could get his first team football back in Italy with Roma. So, moving on from him, we can go to number two of the episode. That is going to be Leroy Fur. Now, today he's actually linked with Sunderland. And Sky Sports are saying that Leroy Fur is set to complete. Please move from QPR to Sunderland today. The midfielder will join in a season long loan again with an option of a permanent deal. One thing I've actually noticed with Leroy Fur, I think every single team has actually joined the Premier League so far. They have actually got relegated in that season. I think with Norwich, they got relegated. Uh, with QPR, they got relegated. So Sunderland, it may be a, quite a risky one, but he's still a good player. And this one may even be completed by the time this video goes live, guys. So keep an eye out for that one. And moving on from here, we're going to go on to Kevin Prince Bertang. And A. Bowen then are saying that Kevin Prince Bertang has already actually landed in Lisbon ahead of actually signing a two year deal with Sporting. And there's also an additional year on top of that, so it could be a three-year deal for him. The guy known that was actually recently released from Schalke after a, a bit of a dispute with the club in general, and he'll undergo a medical before putting pen to paper. It'd be quite a nice one, as he's still a very good card on FIFA. Probably will get him quite a big downgrade next year, but either way, uh, probably quite a signing for Sporting Lisbon. And now we go on to Gokhan Inla. So the Daily Mail are the ones we're going with today, but again, a lot of other media outlets are saying this today as well. So saying that Leicester have agreed a 3.1 million fee of Napoli for the Swiss midfielder. The Foxes will hold further talks with Inla himself, who's actually very reluctant at the moment to join Claudio Ranieri's side who is the new Leicester City manager. If they do get him it'd actually be a very good replacement for Cambiasso who did leave the club uh, after not agreeing a contract extension. So moving on we can go on to Alan Halilovic. And today Sport are actually suggesting that West Ham are on the verge of tying up a deal for the Barcelona wonder kid. The 19 year old is yet to make an appearance for the Catalans and is set to actually make a move to East London. The fee is only £5 million but given the high brand this guy it does seem like a very very low amount but it also goes to say that though uh, Barcelona will retain a buyback clause thought to be just £10 million. So if he turns good he's kind of gone back to Barca kind of thing. So, I mean, they're very clever with that stuff. And go on to Lacazette now. He's still got Leon Badge because today, Le Quip, I said that Leon manager Hubert Foyner, uh, I think that's how you say his name, has told the striker Lacazette that he can leave the club if he wants to if he is not happy. The French side are not impressed by his poor attitude and also lack of effort in training uh, during pre-season. Arsenal, Man City and a lot of other Premier League clubs would be very much interested if he was actually put on the market. Moving on to a German wonder kid now. We've got Leon Goretzka who is currently playing for Schalke in the Bundesliga. And build today, I sent these very close to joining Southampton or the least they're interested and Southampton scout Andreas Fess uh, was actually watching Schalke's uh, friendly the other day against FC Twente. Ron Coma's side are actually willing to pay up to 16 million euros which is 11.2 million pounds for the talented German midfielder and it'll be a very good addition to their squad and it shows how much like how far they've come really. And now on to one of the biggest ones of this episode that is going to be Kevin De Bruyne to Man City. Again there seems to appear quite a lot recently in the last couple of weeks uh, to be honest. The Daily Mail are saying that Man City have been told they can open talks to Kevin De Bruyne if they match the valuation of Wolfsburg of 50 million pounds. They splashed 50 mil on Sterling, so I honestly don't see why they wouldn't splash 50 mil on Kevin De Bruyne. Uh, since the German club publicly insists he will stay, but probably admit they would actually accept an offer if it was a giant one, if it was to come in. I do see Man City making one absolutely huge shine on top of Sterling because they're selling so many players, whether well, that's to fund that transfer or not. But either way, uh, they're kind of short on numbers, and Kevin De Bruyne would fit perfectly. And the final one of the episode is going to another Man City linked player. That is going to be Isco of Real Madrid. Today is sport. I said that Man City are eyeing a move for Isco, who is previously linked to him before he actually joined Real Madrid. The Real star is likely to be forced back onto the bench the likes of Luka Modric, Hamid Rodriguez and Tony Cruz all ahead of him in the actual uh, rankings kind of thing which kind of a bit annoys me a little because Isco is so so good and he's definitely not a bench warmer. I suppose that's the problem though when you get so many stars into one team. It also says though that uh, Manuel Pellegrini is a big big admirer of him again previously linked to him when he first joined. So that's good some of today's potential transfers guys. If you enjoyed this video smash the like button 2000 likes would be greatly appreciated. In the comments below let me your thoughts on today's rumors and like, rumors I should do in the next episode. If you to my channel class subscribe button for daily FIFA content guys. Also so remember, FIFA 16 info is in the description below. The blogs box there. So go check that out down below, guys. So thank you for watching this video, and I'll see you next time.